that when it's negative 20. It's, it's 40, 45 degrees. So. <laughs> <laughs> What are we here for? We realize that our power lies in how we live our lives and how we choose to show up. So, so we choose to show up as rooted crowns, and this is our living prayer. Burn from the earth on a path to reclaim our name, nature, ancestral medicine to, to heal, heal our home. home. We sow this prayer in our bodies between many hands and upon our land in direct response to self hate for scarcity and climate change. But it's simple for real. We plant food for us in concrete jungles. Inspiring youth to lead us out the struggle. Nourishing our bodies is living proof. Sharing all we do to amplify this truth. Yeah, yeah we, we documenting it all. Bringing it to you so you can feel this call in person online. Yeah, we standing tall, really crowns. crowns. Let's rock, rock with it, y'all. Peace, Gaia. Peace, everybody. My name is Ife. I go by Ife Norris on social media. And I'm Lev Nehebka Shepsuma Arts. And, and we're, we're Rooted Crowns. Crowns. Rooted Crowns is the celebration arm of a global home gateways initiative called Wellsprings of Umoja. What we celebrate is integral wellness, symbiotic abundance, and cultural connection. So in video form, what I'll be offering um, is just very hands-on footage. Um, it could be bodywork techniques, it could be uh, stretching techniques, it could be you know, fitness goal, fitness techniques or strategies or just reflections, um, as well as footage in the gardens where we work and, um, you know, our work with youth, our work in nature, you know, just, uh, our time, our yeah. play and time and nature. Um, so we'll be taking you along with us in our journeys on the trails, in the forest, in the parks, um, on road trips. To go see eco villages, um, initiatives around the city, starting with Baltimore, but eventually going all over the globe and celebrating people doing lots of things with nature or with just resiliency for their community. There's we want to show y'all solutions to the problems that we all, um, all of us in humanity are dealing with. Um, in this day and age, um, there are few who are leading by example that we want to we want to show that it's possible um, you know and we want to support and celebrate those who are already doing the work and we want to fit in where we can with mm -hmm. the work that we already do and, and the work that we're growing into and developing and we're, we're learning you know we have a lot to learn and so part of our travels and our documentation is not only will we be learning, but we're going to share it with you all. We're going to say capoeira. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you're going to see some capoeira. Excuse us real fast while we feed the charcoal with some frankincense and myrrh. And speaking of this, we're going to have videos about, you know, different ways to create intentional space, sacred spaces, sacralized spaces. Um, through smells, through taste, through touch, through intentions. We're going to have meditation practices, um, gentle movement practices, in addition to our capoeira loves, you know, serious capoeira and my dabbling in capoeira. <laughs> and then I'm also going to do, you know, we're going to do videos about food, um, we're going to do videos about having events. Currently, we're organizing an event called Kupanda, which we'll go into more, and you'll get to witness the process of us preparing towards that, of meeting the people and developing the, the, the connections, the networks, the, the happenings of the event itself. And yeah, we're excited to show you more about that and to show you how we like to gather the community around these topics, this the reality, I like to call it, of integral wellness, symbiotic abundance, and cultural connection. And yeah, and just everything, anything to do with integral wellness. We're talking about um, healing starts with the self. And you know, we have to include all aspects of ourselves in that conversation, but also in that practice. 
it's anything to do with symbiotic abundance meaning you know we're going to have an abundance of what we need and what we want but it just needs to be symbiotic or in harmony or symphonic with mm -hmm. our environment locally and globally we are are not disconnected from our environments um, you know part one of the aspects of ourselves is all that we receive from not only our immediate environment but the planets uh, you know the earth itself that feeds us energy you know but there's an abundance that i think um is innate in within the earth and the wellspring of life that um that we can tap into and oftentimes that abundance goes to waste and then it takes the form of uh, poverty uh, scarcity of you know um, a lot of the issues in the world are because um, folks are not accessing, you know, what is rightfully all of us. And then also with the abundance, it's about how we access that abundance. So we can we can take a fertile environment and ruin it. You know, we can take a fertile environment and grow monocrops and kill off all the native native nature, the polycultures, the perennials, and that will over time erode the topsoil erode the um, just natural biology of the land and turn it into a desert because we didn't take we didn't support the abundance that was there we exploited it as if this land is something that is just a resource to be exploited and then we're also going to be celebrating cultural connection you know um, honoring our common roots from the motherland from Africa and celebrating how every every expression of humanity is a cultural extension of that and we get to continuously refine those cultural extensions to make sure that they're in harmony they're in symbiosis symphony with the fundamental motherland cultures the cultures of our connection with the earth with each other with spirit that we have as foundation for our human species, for the majority of our human existence. We wish to celebrate um, and live a culture that is inclusive, that brings together all of humanity, that highlights the things that um, we all share, our common ancestors, um, common you know, lineages and root. And you know, we may have different identities um, in this day and age, um, and we, you know, we want to sh show that those are just branches to a common tree. So, on this day that we're about to show you, you're gonna come along. We went to a nature center, and we brought two of our close, close sister friends' uh, daughters. Welcome, Sayla and Dial, to the channel. Let's try to introduce ourselves. I'm Dial. She's Dial. She's Sayla. And we, you know, went out to learn about organic gardening. Uh, there was a man who, uh, do you remember his name? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there was a man uh, who was leading a discussion. We thought it was going to be like a workshop, getting our hands in the soil and everything. And, um, you know, something to do that was fun with the children, with the, with we the girls. We weren't the only ones who thought that. Yeah, yeah, we, you know, we weren't the only ones. There's a lot of families that came. It ended up just being like a two hour long discussion. A lot of good information, but we're not gonna drag you through all that. We'll give you little bits and pieces, some gems, and then we'll take you on a little hike. So come along with us, y'all, to the Cary Murray Nature Center. So in here they have like a um like a lit uh, jungle room where they have animals, like tropical animals. They got tarantulas. And stuff. No, no, don't let me. I'm scared of spiders. I and love snakes. snakes. It's dead. It's been killed. <laughs> They look like sisters. They look like mama and child. <laughs> Check out the bearded dragon. Can you get my book bag? This is the bearded dragon. It's a. It's not going to turn around. The bearded dragon. <laughs> The other lab told there? me that if I break this, there's a crystal in it. I'm getting a snake right a geode. Now. Yeah. Can I get a snake that looks like that? It's a geode. No, yeah, if you smash that, like there's that. a crystal inside. I, I told her I was going to use a chainsaw. I said, don't use a chainsaw because a bunch of pieces are just... Are you all here for the program? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I was just told by someone that I, I must get started. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's come. We're ready. Let's do this thing. We must. We must get started. All right. And we're going back. 
a handful of garden from her yard and press it real tightly. And she said you could tell a lot about your soil from that. Um, it would, you could tell your, the, the water content and the, um, the amount of uh, silt that you had in your soil, sand, and the humus or the, the uh, organic content. Yeah, um, we had a we had tested our soil. It was um, in a Baltimore City lot in West Baltimore, and it was very toxic, toxic. very very toxic, toxic soil. So, um, okay. And you know, nutrient content was kind of average, but we just chose to build on top of it, and um, you know, layering you know different different uh, earth layers. Um, so we had we had put down cardboard and wood chips, and then just Got a truckload of soil from somewhere else that, okay. that was pure. Do, do you know where the you know you know where the soil came? came from? Oh no, it came it came from Ricestown. Okay, a farm in Ricestown. There's a difference between flower growing soil and fruit and vegetables. So why aren't the strawberries growing? I'm not growing strawberries from seed, but I I mean we grow yeah. strawberries every year. We just grow like buy a plant and it they'll come back. Right. So like it's worth spending the three bucks on a plant if your seeds aren't going because it's the same amount as buying a, you know a basket of strawberries. Plants to start with, just kind of starting out with fruits and vegetables. Um, easier things to grow, I guess, is what I'm looking for. Uh, cucumbers super easy yeah. in this climate, especially I've had like almost um, success every year with cucumbers where I, I barely have to net tend to the plants oh, cool. and I direct seed them. Oh, okay. And they, I just give them something to climb on. Mm -hmm. And then like three weeks later, I'm, I'm harvesting like more cucumbers. Really? Than whole, you know, just planting. Yeah, I mean, of course you want to know your varieties. I plant a variety almost every year called Punakira. It's like an Indian variety actually. And it's a golden skin oh, cucumber. Wow. Really? That, does really well here in Baltimore. I don't understand why. I've grown a variety here that um, actually gets about this big and like grows and it gets like windy and it's got a smooth, light green skin. Yeah, it is. So many varieties. Oh, weird. Can you say the, uh, your business one more time? What's the Abba name? Woodworks. Abba? Abba. Can you Abba Woodworks. ABBA. Nice. ABBA. Okay. A we do the raised garden beds and tables and wine racks and potting tables and things, um, but as I said, the main thing is to take the pallets so that they're not going to the landfill, but also turn them into practical products and Definitely. and mm -hmm. give a step to men, women that have fallen through the cracks trying to reclaim their lives. So, so we, it's 20 projects, and as I said, everything from benches, things for outdoors, but also indoors, but our main, awesome. the main reason we started was for um, urban gardens. We have a friend who's a permaculturist who was working with the city elementary schools and teaching kids how to grow their own food and in the city it's perfect because if you don't have good soil you can get good soil and I'm sure even from the gardeners you know they can give you some compost or whatever and then put that in and you can do it on a paved piece of you know land or dirt you know there's there's lots of options but so we are walking out of the um, meat. We just kind of got a little tired of sitting there because most, I think it was supposed to, it's actually over. People were just asking questions. Wow. Mm. I'm scared since it's broke. Oh, Ted. It's an Eastern Do a thing. <laughs> I bet you picked it up and do a thing. Go in and shout. It's probably sweet. Looks like a hairless cat when it just got washed. Really? Oh, gross. It kind of does. Look at yeah, it's so shiny looking. Yeah, I know. It doesn't have any skin. It's like a dragon. That's really cool. I used to be afraid of owls. Is it not a turtle? Is fake. Yeah, they're oh, so pretty. Oh, oh, this one's like doesn't have any scales. It's like just shiny. Oh my gosh, y'all, yeah, it's following me with its head. It's so creepy. It's so creepy. The one in the back. Look, the one in the back follows you with its head. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know why owls freak me out like that, but they really freak me out. The way they follow you, yeah, the way they. Look at him, look at him following your head with his head. Oh god. Oh god. Okay.
I think it's the first time I've ever seen an owl before. Yeah, I know. It looks exactly the same. Except there's like a big piece of glass. Over. It's drawn. Drawn. Boom. Boom. Oh, okay. One, two. Come on, Ifei. Come on. Ready? Like a oh, ten minute listen, hike, guess like what? we said. Listen, in Mexico, guess what happened? Uh, guess what happened? Is it the first turn. Oh, monkey! Let me always go on extra. Yeah. Always doing something. Now somebody crawl up his stomach <laughs> <laughs> and climb up him. Yeah, somebody, somebody can uh, get next to him. Climb up. What? 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 What, <laughs> what the what? heck? Lev, 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 Lev. Oh you want to be here for you? What in the world are y'all doing? <laughs> your baby oh needs to God. see your face. I Come know. on, don't do that. <laughs> don't kick him in the face. <laughs> your baby needs to see your face. You can't do that. <laughs> Lev, <laughs> you're really trying to do a workout and you won't be real. No, I was stepping all over him. And I was like, <laughs> stepping all over his face <laughs> and his <laughs> arms. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, look, I can't flip. That is a front flip. It's just slow. Please, zero. Are you having scared when you get pregnant? What are they doing, honestly? I'd probably be touching it. Look at Ife. He's struggling to get out there. So, now we're talking about pregnancy. Yeah. Okay. I know. Just to tell what baby it is, somebody, somebody, and then they come back home and stuff the color balloon, and stuff the color balloon the in a box, oh, yeah. and then you come, and then you say, all right. I know what it's going to be. You have no idea? I do. No. Yeah, I do. No. Yeah, I do. No. Yeah, I do. So. You want to tell you what I know it is? I don't know. I think I'm Nope. Jeff, okay, left. Um, On to the rescue. Look, look, look at that little hut. Where? Yeah, I know. That's why I want to get it's gonna break, left. <laughs> Look, Dad, what are you thinking? Look, there's a face. Oh my God, that's so cool. Oh, oh, that's so cool. Oh, look, it looks like there's another Santa. trail back. That's probably gonna be quicker to the car. Hi, what? Sure, this way. Oh. Uh huh. Why do you think it's gonna be quicker to the car? Because the cars are in that direction. Right, if, it, if there's even one squiggle left. <laughs> 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 Even if you slightly want to go to this trail, so bad. Cool. That's just why you. I don't think the baby can take all of this walking. Oh, it's really cool. It's no, it doesn't mind walking, but it does mind like cold and though. hunger. That's pretty awesome. And you're hungry and you're cold, mm -hmm. so that's probably the problem. It is a problem. You're gonna be a father. You. Like a peace sign and then heart. Yes. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. love with some cool, cool. Oh my God! You can go inside of that for real. No, you can't actually go inside of it. No, not lying. Oh my goodness! I don't think you should go in. Yeah, there's probably this. some animals. Yeah, in there. You get stuck in there, like it's gonna be. Come on! You got it. You're not gonna get stuck if me and Love got in there. Right, I'm thinking of both y'all. No, you're not. <laughs> so when you, so later the the belly's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. Hey, so we made it out. I made it out with my life. I know you're probably worried, but. I lived and then both of our phones died so yeah uh we uh it happens sometimes we still happens. you know we're still amateurs with this you know we're trying to upgrade soon but yeah. we're starting with the phones right and if you mm -hmm. like what we're doing you subscribe you subscribe on our patreon you can make what we're doing happen more professionally more quickly but that tree was epic it was yeah so it was beautiful inside yeah, you could stand up footage. in it and everything yeah we have we have one more thing for you in this video and that's just a lunch that we made um another day but we just wanted to share with you this this food because it just was so good and that's pretty much it for this video peace guys so we're just gonna make a quick lunch 
um, it's plant rich. Some people say it's, it's vegan. Uh, I tend to just value how much plants I get versus how much I lack something else. It basically orange sweet and sticky cauliflower right cauliflower wings and and i've already sort of started like organizing things i made my own gluten-free flour blend we're probably gonna use like an eighth of this and then i made some hemp milk just made it fresh really quick and then i just started organizing some of the seasonings we're gonna need for the sauce and for the the cauliflower and i just gotta start the cauliflower so we have the cauliflower and we're just gonna break it up into pieces to resemble like wings. I'm not a good food, um, or like I have a weird relationship with like documenting myself with food because I get so hungry and I get so grumpy when I'm hungry. So like for the first half of any video, I'm like grumpy and hungry or sleepy. Right. <laughs> yeah. The reality is like being pregnant on the camera. For real. And a Scorpio. Yeah, that's all the time. <laughs> I am free to give my input. This is odd thing. Alright. I'm about to get it in right now. Good appetite. That is food nourish. Our bodies nourish and our spirits. Chopstick <laughs> <laughs> <Drop> fail. <laughs> Sounds like it's gonna work. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks, y'all. If you have any feedback, be sure to comment. And if you liked our video, please be sure to like us. If you want to see more, subscribe. Check out our Patreon where we're going to have a whole bunch more perks, early videos, recipes, and all types of good stuff. And yeah, we look forward to seeing you again. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching Rooted Crowns. All right, come check us out. Next video. Peace. Coming soon. Peace.